Rachel Scott is in the studio at the moment. She has a BA in music technology. Uh, she has her own studio and she sings and will be playing some of her music in a, a very short while. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and whereabouts do you come from today? I'm from Weymouth. From Weymouth, yeah. right. And how long have you been doing music for, uh, writing music or singing for? Um, singing mostly all my life. Yeah. And um, about nine years singing in, in like clubs and on stage in theatre and in the studio yeah. ever since I was born, basically. <laughs> 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 right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to play um, the second track in your CD uh, that you bought me, which is called Ain't No Late. This is um, when. When did you actually write this? Um, this past year. All oh, right, it's, so they're all new, new yeah, songs. Yeah, all they? new material. Um, you can download it and buy it from iTunes online. So, all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's have a listen to it. One, two, one, two, three, four. I know you. There we go. That was the title track from your CD. And uh, have you actually released it as a CD in the shops as well? Not in the shops, because, no. you know, most people are going all digital now. So. That's right, <laughs> yes. It's the way to go. Yeah. So that's the title track, and it's Ain't No Lady. When you're writing songs, um, I've always been interested because I've, although I've, I've written folk songs, I do folk singing myself, uh -huh. and uh, I like listening to rock music, and I uh, listen, oh, I listen to anything. I I like any sort of very eclectic tastes. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, when you're writing a song, it's, it's very much like uh, poetry that we're talking about, that Tara and I were talking about earlier with our previous guests, in that it, sometimes you can, I, I can write a song instantly, and sometimes it takes ages. With these songs, does it take you a long time to actually think up the song itself? I imagine putting it together takes ages because it's various layers and all the rest of it. The actual writing the song, is it something that happens instantly or? For me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just sit down, write the track from scratch. It doesn't really take me too long to write the actual basics of the drums and yeah. the bass, get them down. I just sit down and I think, well, what's going on today? What's All happening? Right. Ah. <laughs> and that's, that's how you get your lyrics? Yeah, from okay. like my everyday experiences. I mean, some of the stuff I'm writing on my next album, Blow, which is out in February, is um, very intimate for me, more than Ain't No Lady, because um, of the things and the experiences and the situations I've been through the last few years, especially last past year. <laughs> <laughs> it's been quite a year. Yeah. Uh, where, where did you do your BA? Um, Bournemouth Uni. It didn't have to go too far away. No, no. I always want to stay close to home if I can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I say, I say, say that because my son, he's in a band um, like no other rock band. Uh, he's just gone to university up in Preston, which is mm -hmm. north of Liverpool. It's a long, long way. Mm. <laughs> So, yes, uh, and you've, say, you've written music uh, for a long time and you've sung for all your life sort of thing. Yeah. But you've also got a studio. Is this quite a new thing? Yeah, I mean, I've always been into my technology and messing around on the programmes and yeah. coming up with new instruments and stuff. And um, I got to the stage where I was writing so many songs that I just couldn't afford to go into a studio being an independent. So I thought I'd cut the cost down and set up my own. So. Yeah. And do you hire it out to people? Or? Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. At the moment, I'm working on writing some music to film for a local um, video club. It's about the quarry. We've just been talking <laughs> about the various quarries and things and stone. <laughs> the previous guest was a, yeah. was a, was a sculptor, and yeah. they go to yeah. the quarries and things. And <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah, I mean, the studio is open for like writing um, music to film, singers who want to do their demos. Anything really. I'm working with a rapper at the moment. We're working on an album. I'm working on another album with a rock singer yeah. and you know producer. And um, a bit of this and a bit of that. It's a bit yeah. like Ain't No Lady. You've got a combination of hip hop, pop, R and B, all on one disc. Yeah. Something yes. for everybody. And that's that's what the studio's like. Plus, it's all purple <laughs> <laughs> from top to bottom, lilac. <laughs> <laughs> have to come and have a look. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. 
great to be just you know rather than relying on other people in other studios just say no I'm going to do do it my way do my thing do it my own studio people come and record um, it's just it's very exciting to hear that it's very refreshing to hear someone going at it from that angle rather than relying on other people yeah I think it's the way it's going today though because if you look at Josh Stone everybody is realizing that you know, musicians and singers can actually do it for themselves they don't have to rely on record companies anymore yeah they can set up an independent record label, release their stuff on iTunes. And it's more about the musician than lining publishers and record companies' pockets with money that they just don't deserve. <laughs> yes, yes, I have uh, similar similar worries. When, why I've started up my website, uh, Entertainment Live UK, was because I was fed up with people being ripped off, basically. Yeah. Especially new people, new into the business. You know, These young lads or young ladies that go out and they just love music and all they want to do is play. And to get anywhere, you have to spend a fortune. Mm. You know, yeah. Even to get into some venues, you're having to pay sort of four or five hundred pounds to get through the door, and it's yeah. it's beyond most people's pockets. You know, yeah. when you're first starting out. I mean, the the only thing is, musicians are very vulnerable people. Some bands have decided to let their albums go, you know, download for free. I don't think that's the way to go at all. Mm. It's just going to kill the music industry. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Just yeah. keep the public happy. Yes, yeah. because people aren't. They although they will try, and those that want to download it for free will find some way of doing it yeah. um, so I don't think really you can fight a great deal against that apart from advise people not to do it but yeah. uh, to actually give your music away it's a different, it's a different thing, thing altogether yeah. isn't it it's uh, yes you can give samples away yeah, yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong with giving or, or, or at the gigs that you g give give two tracks freebies, away or yeah. freebies and things like that that's not a problem I don't have any problems with that but when you're giving whole albums away uh, for nothing to lots and lots of people it's yeah. uh, you're not doing it's yourself any favor kind or of anybody a, it's about valuing yourself as well and your work, isn't it? Yeah. And if, if you value that, then you should put, you know, you put a lot of time and effort. I mean, if, um, if, if you could give us an approximation amount of hours that went into that album, what would it, what would it be? About six months. Six months. Of six months of constant yeah. writing yeah. in the studio so every day. A huge amount of work's gone yeah. in. So, um, you know, we, we all should get paid for what we give out work-wise um, if that's our main job you know it's different if it's a, just a hobby and you're doing something else yes. but yeah uh, yeah no go for it go for it, go for it. <laughs> well just to go on one step further we're going to play the next track on this which is on the cd that you bought in you think I pretty love lady that's track, yeah. that, that's track it's really commercial yeah <laughs> that's track four okay uh, what was inspired this song well pretty little lady is um it's got some funny quirky bits in it and um always reminds me me of like a lady who is like overweight wants to be a singer but always been put down because she's not quite got everything going for her if you know what I mean yeah. she's not a size six model okay yeah. well let's have a listen song yeah, I really I like, like that, that. Um, oh, thank you. really l lively and uh, had something to say yeah uh, and I think it's quite important I, I do you think that is important each song should have something to say uh, yeah definitely should mean something to somebody I've well. always got something to say <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's all about yeah yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a, a great sense of fun in, in in your music yeah I always like to have a good laugh and yeah I've got a serious side as well when I first started singing I was singing big ballads and the gauge took me on and tried to manipulate me into something I just didn't want to be and it wasn't me at all. Yeah. So I guess in Ain't No Lady I've got a bit of rebellious nature going on there. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the studio with Rachel Scott. Her dad's here as well. I don't know if you'd like to say anything while you're here. Just enjoying the experience, Simon. Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and do you sing live on stage at all? Yeah, love it. Absolutely adore performing live. In fact, I'm at the Hackney Empire on the 30th of March and um, I'm in Nottingham on the 5th of November and oh, uh, we, I'm self-organiser for Saba Society of Advanced British Art and we've got another show coming up on the 12th or the 19th of April it's not confirmed yet but um, yeah I definitely love performing live it's brilliant I can especially see my own stuff <laughs> <laughs> your demeanour says to me says to me I, 
I, I've got to be in front of people enjoying myself. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. If I'm not doing that, I'm cooped up within four walls in the studio. So yeah. <laughs> do you do you dance as well when you when you? Perform? I have a go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a go. Anything yeah. once with conditions. <laughs>